For the Facebook profile, how do you quickly see which of your recent posts um, did the best in terms of got the most engagement? So let me go ahead and show you on screen. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the link below to the link that I'm showing you here because the link that you click on below will bring you to this place. And I know a lot of you are using Facebook profile for building your community, building your audience, uh, rather than the Facebook business page. A Facebook business page has its own metrics that are more detailed, but the Facebook profile has some metrics too, particularly if you have turned on the professional mode of your Facebook profile. I would recommend doing that. If you don't know how to do that, you can Google it. It's not hard to turn on professional mode, but once you do, you will be able to click on the link I give you below and, and find a place like this, which is which is um, where you could see from the last 90 days only. Unfortunately, I wish they would go longer than this, but but you can. I think, um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, you can you can sort by date. You can, you can see here, right? Once you get here, you see the last 90 days posts. I thought I've posted more than this, but I guess maybe not. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and just double check this here. Last 60 days, last 90 days. Yeah, I haven't been, I haven't been super posty. Okay, so there I think it's it's buggy because now there's fewer um in the last 90 days and then when I first showed it. But so just just know that there might be some bugs still happening here. But hopefully it'll work what by the time you see this. And then you can sort by date or you can sort by um post reach. Post reach, by the way, I would say is see now suddenly last ninety days sorted by post reach. There's a lot more posts. Okay, so you might want to you might want to play around with the with the with the setting here. But post reach, I would say generally is the best overall metric for how successful a post was because even if people didn't so called engage, people that you know these engagements are measuring certain things like how many comments did you get how many likes did you get how many people clicked on see more but they're not measuring other hidden engagement metrics that facebook is measuring uh such as time spent on screen um before they kept scrolling or things like that so um facebook is tracking things that they don't necessarily show us here in the engagement numbers which are built into the post reach meaning if people for example scroll, uh, stop the scrolling and look at your thing for longer, even if they didn't click see more or didn't click like or comment or share, whatever. It does build into the algorithm like, hey, Facebook says, hey, maybe this is interesting for people. We'll we'll reach more people with this and we'll show it to more people. So anyway, post reach generally is a good overall metric for the success of a post. But you can also, of course, sort by engagement to say, well, these are the ones, right, from most engaging, most engagements at least, these are the ones that got the most clicks likes, comments, and things like that. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. And if you have any other tips for others who want to look at their Facebook profile uh, stats, you can comment below and share that with us as well. Thanks.